Tipu Sultan's sword was estimated to sell for an inordinate $2.5 million. However, this prize weapon was auctioned in London and fetched a staggering $17.5 million or £4 million. This not only breaks the highest price paid for a single sword, but also sets a new world record for any Indian Islamic object. If you are quick and do a Google search today, you will find the Sword Encyclopedia list the most expensive sword ever sold as the 18th century Boteng Saber. Sold in auction twice, originally for $5.93 million in 2006 and for $7.7 .7 million AN in 2008, it features decorations and inscriptions alluding to the Chinese Emperor Qianlong of the Qing Dynasty. Tipu Sultan's legendary bedchamber sword was sold at Bonham's Islamic and Indian Art Sale in London. The prize weapon, which was estimated to fetch between 1.5 million to 2 million pounds, ended up reaching 14 million pounds or 17.5 million USD at the sale in London, breaking the records. So what has made it so valuable? According to Bonham's website, in Oliver White, an auctioneer and the head of Islamic and Indian art, said the sword demonstrates outstanding craftsmanship. This is why White describes the sword as unique and highly desirable. White added that it is also the greatest of all the weapons linked to Tipu Sultan still in private hands, and as such, the antique weapon is truly spectacular, concluded the auctioneer. Tipu Sultan, known as the Tiger of Mysore, was an 18th century ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore in India. Known in history for his fierce resistance against British colonization, he is famed for using new technologies. Tipu Sultan created various military innovations and economic policies, including the use of rocket artillery against neighboring states and East India Company who was seen as an extension of the British Navy at the spearhead of colonization. On May 4, 1799, during the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War, the capital city of Seringapatam, now Sri Rangapatna, fell to the British forces, marking the end of Tipu Sultan's rule after his death in battle. With his reign ended, so too did the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War, to which time the sword's provenance can be traced. And with this rich heritage, Nima Sagachi, group head of Islamic and Indian art at Bonhams, said the sword's history is extraordinary. This unique weapon attracted the attention of two telephone bidders working for antiquities buyers, who engaged in what is described as a hot contest for the iconic weapon. Bonhams wrote on the inventory that the sword is unquestionably part of Tipu's personal arsenal and that it is arguably the finest and most important of the weapons with a proven personal association with the ruler. The sword, which this week set new world records, was manufactured by Mughal swordsmiths. The blade is inscribed, the sword of the ruler and the hilt is inlaid in exquisitely executed gold calligraphy, depicting five of the qualities of God and two invocations calling on God by name. And while the weapon was forged in India, its blade reflects the design of 16th century imported German examples. It is known that in 1799, this sword was presented to the leader of the British forces, Major General David Baird, from his troops, to show their high esteem of his courage and conduct in the assault which he commanded, which saw the death of Tipu Sultan. Tipu is believed to be buried at the Gumbaz, a mausoleum located in Sri Rangapatna, Karnataka, India, that also houses the tombs of his father Haider Ali and his mother Fatima Begum. This significant historical site is enjoyed by thousands of visitors every year who are interested in learning about Tipu Sultan's life and legacy. However, the legendary warrior's sword will now vanish into the private collection of an anonymous billionaire maybe never to be seen again.